Welcome to Online Data Collection Overview presented by AssetWise Ivara Performance Management. By the end of this unit, you will understand what is Online Data Collection ODC, how to configure APM to connect to online data source, and how to configure indicators with ODC. What is Online Data Collection ODC? ODC is an interface between AssetWise, Ivara Performance Management Indicators, and online monitoring device data sources. For example, Distributed Control Systems DCSs or Programmable Logic Controllers PLCs. When using ODC with an indicator, the ODC service provider monitors data from data source and automatically records the indicator readings in the APM's database no manual data entry is needed. The online data collection involves the following components. Online monitoring devices, data sources, APM service provider with plugins, and the APM application and database. The online monitoring device can be any programmable logic controller, PLC, distributed control system, DCS, human machine interface, HMI, process database, and or process historian. The data source is a third-party application that is provided by the monitoring device manufacturer to expose field data to other applications, like APM. And it can be an OPC DA server that provides real-time data, an OPC HDA server that provides historical or aggregated data, a PI server, which is a his process historian that can provide both real-time or aggregated data, or could be any other database or historian provider that support open database connectivity, ODBC, or object linking and embedding for databases, or LADB. The APM service provider is the component responsible for communicating with data sources through plugins. The provider has one specific plugin for each of the above data sources. So we have ODC plugin for OPC DA server, ODC plugin for OPC HDA server, ODC plugin for PI process historian, and ODC plugin for databases. Also, I should mention here that Bentley can provide custom plugin for to collect data from custom data source using application programming interface API. The final component is the APM application and database where assets, indicators, and associated readings are stored and where alarms will be triggered when abnormal readings is detected. To set up APM ODC, we need to first configure APM to connect to data source or data sources. Second, configure indicators to use ODC. Now, let's see how we can set up an APM to connect to a data source. Let's assume that we need to connect a distributed control system, DCS, called DCS underscore one, to an APM system that has the following layouts. One machine called APM underscore server that is dedicated to handle user's request. This machine has the APM application running on it. One machine called DB underscore server that is dedicated to hold and manage the APM database. And finally, one machine called ODC underscore server that is dedicated to handle online data collection ODC with the following applications running or reside on it. An APM DA server compatible with the DCS, an APM OPC DA plugin, and an APM service instance. Now I should mention here that this is one possible layout for an APM system with ODC other layouts also possible and you need to refer to your actual systems layout when configuring your own APM system. To connect APM to a data source we need to set up an ODC service provider, configure data source and finally to create polling schedule. Now let's see how we can do this in APM application. To set up an ODC service provider open the enterprise window click on services and then server tab. Click on you. The server machine properties dialog appears. Enter the name of the server machine that will host the service provider 
and that is ODC underscore server in our example. Click New to add a server instance. The server properties dialog appears. Enter the name of the server instance. This name must match the name given to the server instance when it was created. You can find the exact name in the service applet. Locate the APM service and copy the name to the service instance field. Now click Browse to add required service provider. The service provider dialog appears. Select the online data collection and click OK. Click OK again and you should have the ODC service provider configured. Next step is to define the data source in APM. This definition brings together information about the service provider, the OPC plugin, and the connection to the target server. The following explains how to configure a data source for the OPC DI plugin, like in our example. Simil similar approach can be taken to configure other plugin types. Now before starting, you need to make sure that your DCOM configuration is set up correctly to access the OPC server. Also make sure that the connection to the OPC server is active as we need to connect to the server to save the connecting string in the APM database. Open the Enterprise window, click Services, and then ODC tab, then Data Sources tab. Click New. The ODC Data Source dialog appears. Enter a name for the data source. I will use OPC underscore DA underscore 4 underscore DCS underscore 1. You can use whatever like suitable for your own system. Now, select a service provider from the list. I will select this one that we have created in previous step. Click Browse Plugins. The Browse ODC Plugins dialog appears. Select the plugin that matches the type of OPC source. Now, for our example, I will select ODC Plugin for OPC DA. Now, click OK. The General tab now displays the information supplied by the plugin. Now permit future dated indicator readings. Click allow future dated indicator readings. This is necessary if the ODC server clock is not perfectly synchronized with their online monitoring device. And this ensures that ODC service is able to return the most recent indicator readings. Next click browse to select the target ODC server. Click browse again to open select server dialog where you can locate and select the server. I will select this one that is available on my PC. Now, in the select OPC server dialog, you can click connect, wait until server is connected, and then click status to check the status of the server. The server status dialog shows whether the server is running or not. It should be running in order to connect to the server and, and save the connecting string to that APM database. Now click close to return the select server dialog. Click OK to return to the ODC data source dialog. The general tab displays information about the plugin and the connection. Click on OK. The data source is now configured. Finally, we need to create a polling schedule. To do that, click on polling schedules tab. Click new the ODC polling schedule dialog appears. Enter a name for the schedule. For example, I will use every day. The sch schedule is activated by default. Leave it like this if you need to use it. Set polling frequency and other parameters as required. When done, click OK to save the polling schedules. By now, we have configured APM to connect to data source. The next step is to configure indicators to collect online readings. To do this, we need to configure the indicator to select the ODC collection method, assign a data source, create reading rules, and for descriptive indicator, we must map values returned from the data source to the indicator state. Now let's see how we can do this in APM application. 
To configure an indicator with ODC, go to the site window and click on Indicators panel. Search for and then open the indicator record to be modified. On General tab, enable editing. In the Collection Method field, select Collected from an online data source. Now the ODC tab appears. Switch to ODC tab. Select a data source from the list. I will select the one that we have created in previous step. Now click Browse to select the data tag that will be assigned to, the, to this indicator. Be aware that this dialog that appears is specific to the type of target data source. So different data sources has, have different dialog windows. Now select the appropriate tag for the data to be monitored and then click OK. Next, we need to define the ODC reading rules. The rules specify when readings taken by only ODC service are recorded as indicator readings. To do so, click on ODC rules tab, click new, the ODC readings creation rule dialog appears. Enter a name for the rule. Click on the rules tab and select when you want readings to be created. We have two options. Every time the indicator is polled, Select this option to allow to always have a reading created when data is received from the tag or when all of the following conditions are true. This rule has multiple sub-options. If you select more than one option, the evaluation criteria will be logically ended together. This means that readings will only be created if all of the criteria are true. You must select at least one option. Now the sub-options are the value changed by more than this option is only available to numeric indicators and select this one to enter the threshold amount in the box for example you might only want new reading if current has changed by more than one ampere in either direction second sub option is the indicator state changed this select this one this option to have an indicator reading created when the indicator state different from the last reading taken. This applies to indicators with states and descriptive indicators. The indica third op sub-option is the, th the indicator state is one of. Select this option to have an indicator reading created for selected states only. Select the appropriate states in the table below. This applies to indicators with states and descriptive indicators. Now for this uh, training unit, I will select every time. Now next, click on Quality tab and specify how ODC service responds when the reading's quality is bad or uncertain. Your, choice, your choices are to create a reading anyway, create a reading that is marked incorrect with the reason uncertain or bad, or ignore the readings and go on next one. Typically, Typically, quality applies to OBPC data sources. However, if the plugin doesn't support the concept of quality, good quality is assumed. On the descrip description tab, you can enter an information about the rule. Click on polling schedule tab, click on browse, and select required polling schedule. I will select the one that we have created in early step. In our previous example, we configured a numeric indicator to use ODC. I should mention that descriptive indicators have an additional must step to map values returned from the data source to the indicator's states. To do the mapping, open the descriptive indicator, click on start state tab, double click on the first state and enter associated ODC value, zero for example. Double click on second state and enter associated ODC value, one for example. Now you need to enter this value for each and every state in the list. Now in case when ODC receives a value where there is no match can be made, a readings will be created but it will be marked as incorrect. This situation might occur for example if the online source returns a value for which you did not define an indicator state or if one of the values was entered incorrectly. By completing this unit, you now know what is Online Data Collection ODC, know how to configure APM to connect to online data source, and know how to configure indicators with ODC.